Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest Windows 11 Insider Dev Channel preview build 22567, and that was last week on the 2nd of March 2022. So in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at some of the key feature highlights and improvements that rolled out in build 22567. And just to dive straight in, um, this is the first screenshot taken from the release notes where there is now a renewable energy message uh, that will pop up in your Windows settings under Windows Update. Windows Update is committed to helping reduce carbon uh, emissions and this is to do with renewable energy and Microsoft says that whenever possible Windows 11 will now prioritize installing updates in the background at times when greater amounts of clean energy sources, uh, examples of that would be uh, wind, solar and hydro um, energy sources when those are available and this feature they say will only be enabled when your PC is plugged in and regional carbon intensity data is available. So you will only uh, get this renewable energy feature in Windows Update turned on if um, the uh, uh, regional carbon intensity data is available in your region. So that's a possible a new feature rolling out to Windows Update in the near future. And if we just head to the second screenshot, um, this is to do with the accounts page in the settings uh, menu. And Microsoft say they are improving the Microsoft 365 subscription management in settings. And yeah, we can see that says your credit card has expired. Update your payment info to keep your subscription. And basically what this is, Microsoft says that they are introducing payment details within the subscription card experience. And this will allow you to view your payment information and be notified when your payment method needs to be updated, as we can see in this example. And then if we just go to the next screenshot, this is to do with the OOBE, which is short for out of box experience. And this is to do with your phone. And you can now link your Android phone to your PC as part of the device setup OOBE um, when you are setting up Windows 11. And when linked, um, and you can also link here with a QR code, this will give you instant access to everything on your phone right from your PC. And that's straight from the out of box experience um, when you are setting up your new Windows 11 PC. And then if we just go to the next screenshot, um, there is now a smart app control uh, in the uh, Windows Defender, Windows Security app under App and Browser Control. And this uh, smart app control says enhanced protection from untrusted apps. And um, the SAC for short um, for smart app control, Microsoft say, is first configured in elevation mode. And while SAC is in elevation mode, it will learn basically in the background if it can help protect you without getting in your way too much. So this is something that will basically do machine learning in the background to keep you protected. And if so, it will automatically be turned on. Otherwise, it will automatically be uh, turned off. And basically what a smart app control is, it's a security feature that blocks malicious, untrusted and potentially unwanted apps on Windows devices. And it's only active on newly installed systems at this stage. And more details on this feature will be shared in the future, Microsoft says. So I will keep you posted when more information becomes available. And then if we just go to the next screenshot um, and the final screenshot, this is to do with uh, the touch gestures where Microsoft says they're updating multi-finger touch gestures, as we can see in this GIF to include responsive and delightful animations that follow your finger. So that's more or less um, the key highlights that rolled out in that latest Dev Channel build last week on the 2nd of March. And as I have mentioned in previous videos, it's not guaranteed, um, especially uh, in the Dev Channel, the features that Microsoft is testing, that any of those features um, will make their way to the stable channel. Some will and some won't. So always keep that in mind. Um, when we take a look at new features uh, in the dev channel and I will leave a link to the uh, announcing Windows 11 build 22567 those release notes down below if you're interested as yeah you can go check out more in depth 
all of the key highlights that I've just touched on in this video and a whole lot of the fixes and improvements if you are interested. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.